Foul weather is still hampering the clean-up in the capital and hundreds of homes remain without power tonight. This update from Simon Bradwell. This is what the storm did to the Island Bay Surf Club. Bad enough outside, even worse inside. There's a, a whole lot of other equipment in there that's just absolutely stuffed. A lot of our storage equipment has just been smashed in there. Uh, our kayaks uh, are not looking too flash. The aftermath of the storm, easy to see right along Wellington's south coast. Cleaning out this boat shed proving hazardous work. It'll be back up and running in about a month. <coughs> oh, <laughs> like the shed, a bit of damage, but he'll keep going. Have to, don't want, uh, don't want to lose this, this is too much for us. Everything's in there, we, all our gear. Line's been working to restore power to around 1,400 homes. How many jobs have you done? Oh, I've lost count to be honest. The fire, the only light at Carmel Bruce's Normandale home for almost two days. It's been really cold and especially when you can see other people have got power on. It's only just up the hill and you haven't. Rail links to the Hutt Valley still down. Work will resume at first light. While the worst of the storm has passed, it's been raining non-stop all day. The temperature's about 8 degrees, but with a wind chill factor of 5, it feels like 2 or 3. No weekend off for roofers around the region either. My boss yesterday probably had about 70 phone calls before lunchtime yesterday, so yeah, still keep coming as well. Junior Saturday morning soccer and rugby blown away by the storm. But other sports were in their element. You weren't worried about anything minor like drowning? Ah, uh, I thought I'd be all right, eh? Like these hardy Wellingtonians, the capital's picking itself back up again. Simon Bradwell, One News.